well it's a video about meditation let's make some vibe here first what I'm talking about. Let's put it here. Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about my experience of meditating for this past one year. I started doing meditation almost five years ago. At that time, the reason for doing meditation is because I was completely lost in my life. Clueless about my self-awareness, how to deal the pressure from the outside world. I had not any control over my negative emotions like anger. The journey since then has been full of ups and downs and a lot lot of things changed since the last one year and this video is going to be just about that i have once heard a quote from the zen master henry shukman which says and i'm completely paraphrasing it daily meditation is like a single drop of water each session adds up and over time it forms an ocean of calm and clarity over the year this quotation stayed with me somehow and inspired me to meditate consistently i can still remember i started doing meditation daily two minutes a day and gradually that increases up to five to ten minutes and sometimes even one hour Anyways, if it comes to the last one year, then you can say I have meditated daily 15 to 20 minutes on average and I have used many methods of meditation. I made a video describing few of them, well, link below if you are interested. So in this video, I'll tell you four interesting things that I have learned after one year of daily meditation. Number one, increased self-awareness. In the past one year, I have realized my self-awareness has increased. And what I mean by that is I can observe my thoughts and feelings as a third person and not completely tangle myself with those thoughts in my mind. It always helps to create a mental space rather than getting overwhelmed by the emotions or reactions you are getting. You become the controller of your emotions and how you will react to it and I think it's a great superpower. It had boosted my confidence in expressing my opinions as now I have a much clearer understanding of what exactly I feel or think in a particular situation in comparison to before. It may sound like a very small thing, but I have found it very helpful taking the big or even small decisions of my life, which as a younger version of me would have struggled a lot. My emotional responses are more in control. For example, I used to be very angry even in small things like if any plans does not occur according to me. But now it's like I'm taking a moment of pause and reflect before responding to any negative situation like this. Trust me, saved me doing a lots of things I could have regretted later. Greater patience. There are many meditation techniques, but I mainly do the breathing method, which I observe is all about giving your entire focus on your breath. Every time you are aware that you have lost your focus from the breath to a particular thought, then you bring it back. Initially, it takes a lot of patience as this will happen again and again. And most of the people quit meditation as they lose the patience to focus. But if you understand this game, then it will work for you. So this technique in my personal life increased my patience dramatically. This practice of gently returning to your breath translated into my everyday situation. I became more patient with others dealing with any complicated situations. Overall, it gave me an understanding that thoughts and frustrations come and go, but you need to keep your sanity in between. Spiritual inclination. Spirituality has many different terms. For me, it's all about connecting with my higher self and the greater power that I believe exists, which you can only feel with your increased awareness. And I live for this. In the past one year, meditation helped me to be more spiritually inclined. As in those 15 or 20 minute sessions when you are setting for meditation, you are detaching yourself from the connection of outside. It is almost like discovering a medium that you can connect with something bigger than yourself. For that reason, I now feel a lot calmer. The famous writer Ronald Dahl said, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. For me, I believe in meditation and it has become the tool of creating magic. 
as you become more inclined spiritually it can not only help you to open your heart but also can help you to make a deeper connection with yourself that you really get the chance to connect to it regeneration of emotions i have understood while doing meditation you need to allow all your emotions to come and just observe them without judging at the time of doing it you should not suppress any emotions to come but why so i have heard this story somewhere i can't remember where it goes like this two disciples came to a zen master to learn meditation the first one said i have no emotion teach me meditation and i'll be as strong as a stone the second disciple admitted that i have emotions and i can't suppress it could you teach me meditation the zen master chose the second person expressing that emotions are essential for growth the true meditation isn't about avoiding emotions but learning to understand and navigate them with awareness this taught me the importance of emotions and in the last one year i worked on this i learned more about my emotions i now don't hesitate to cry often i now laugh more now my feelings and observations are more active i feel amazed by some life simple things so if you do meditation it will give you a balance regenerating your emotions and feelings together for a better clarity of life well lastly i want to say that maybe i have missed few sessions in the last one year and i think that's the part of the game you may miss one or two days in a week to do meditation but that should not stop you or for that you should not feel demotivated to continue the sessions in the future so if you will allow me to give some tips from a meditator like me who is still learning i would tell you these four things start small focus on your breath be mindful of distractions bring back your focus and practice regularly at the end of the day you'll see everything will fall into place if you want you can also take the help of the guided meditation you can easily find it on the youtube especially from the channels of sadguru art of living tiknatha ramdas or the people like jack cornfield so that is it i hope it helped you somehow please share this with at least someone who you think need this video i'll meet you very soon